Hi, this is Belinda with Belinda's Bobbles, and welcome to a special episode. Um, I am at On the Lamb Yarn Shop, and I happen to have here a trunk show by Knitting Fever, and we're going to explore it together. There's all sorts of um, yarns here. It's all already made up. I didn't have to make it, but I wanted to share this with you guys. And are you guys ready to dig in? Okay, so got a, this one here is a crocheted purse. The design is Corina, and the yarn is Summer Solstice Paints by Juniper Moon Farm. Now, Knitting Fever has a lot of different yarns, and I'm going to run kind of along the bottom here some of the different ones that they have. All right, on to the next one. This one is really fun. This is Nicola is the design. Again, Summer Solstice. This is number 05 and Summer Solstice Paints number 104 by Juniper Moon Farms. And it's got some great broomstick going on in here. But look at all those colors playing together. The two pieces together. Boat neck, simple sleeves, something that would happen real fast. And this is a cotton, feels like. This one caught my attention real fast. Again, when we're summer solstice. Iris top. And it's summer solstice number zero six. And what a great layering piece. You see all that detail there? Sorry, I covered up my mic there for a second, but ah, uh, loving this. And I'm just throwing them back on the back of the couch. So I don't have as much to clean up afterwards. Okay, so now we're switching over to Noro. A Noro vest. Now this design is tunic tank top actually. And it's Sonata number 45 is the color. I'm being handed some props here. Okay, so we have some of the Sonata by Noro. Heather's running around in the background, <laughs> hiding from the camera, but helping out. <laughs> and thank you very much for allowing me to do this here. All right, and so this is some of the Juniper Moon Zooey. It's soft cotton linen. Okay, so it's a soft cotton linen bl um, blend. The Noro Sonata, let's see, is cotton, viscose, and silk, and polyamide. So 35% cotton, 25% viscose, 20% silk, and 20% polyamide. Mm. And then the Summer Solstice Paints that we've already seen in some of these items by Juniper Moon. Look at those colors there. This is 48% linen, 24% cotton, 24% viscose, and 4% polyester. All right. So, let's see what's next. <laughs> So this is a Juniper Moon Farm. This is with the Zooey, number 15. <laughs> Very close there. This one over here, where is the color? This one is red velvet over here, uh, number 59. And the design is Poco Luna. 
Okay, so this is about the only way you're going to see something like this. I mean, it's fun, but it's not necessarily something I would be knitting for myself. But, and that's part of the thing, is you get to see things that I wouldn't be making myself, but some of them I might. But that is a fun poncho. I think I may be past the tassel stage, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Oh, I'm loving the chartreuse. Okay, so we have a vest cardigan here, if I can hold it upright. Juniper Moon, fa um, fa blah, blah, blah. there we go. Juniper Moon Farm Firefly Wrap. This is a, in the Zooey number 13. And it does have a great drape. This was the one that is the cotton linen blend, 60% cotton, 40% linen. Okay, let me get this in my hands correctly. At the moment, I'm missing my hangers that I usually use for props. I should have brought it. Okay, there we go. All right. That has like a handkerchief front to it with a slight collar and a little bit of detailing on the sleeves and the edges. Because I should show you the knit side, right? <laughs> okay, so I am I'm liking the way that this feels. Okay, on to a crochet. This one is the Emily crochet bag. It's done in the summer solstice. One, five, and nine. It's got your granny squares, a double um, handle here, and some buttons. They've lined theirs, but it's got the crochet. It's got the hooks on, or it's got the crochet squares, there we go, on both sides, and then a plain band on the bottom for accent and around the edges. That is fun. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. This is a larger piece, I think. Is this a blanket? This is done with Noro Sonata, color number 6, 19, 30, and 39. The design is number 24, Tuscan Sunshine. <sighs> okay, so this could be either a wrap or a lap blanket. But, oh, look at the flower in the middle. Okay, i got to get back. And the edges are all these circles. This is something I could definitely see either wearing it or cuddling underneath it. And I had no idea of that flower. I, I just kept seeing all the circles, but I didn't see the flower until I opened it up. Oh. Keeps going. Oh. And this is a crochet piece. Even has, look at that, half a flower on the bottom. All right. Next, we've got Juniper Moon Farm Circadian Pullover. This is done in Zooey number 11. You've got a longer back with a split um, ribbing, but then it goes into a longer back. 
and I would assume that's a three-quarter length sleeve. And she's such a smaller size than what <laughs> would fit me anymore. <laughs> That's a great navy, though. Were you expecting to go to a sample sale or a sample display today, huh? <laughs> then we've got Noro, a Kiko t-shirt with lace detail done in Sonata number 13. All right, I'm loving the pink. Okay, so I'm going to have to get closer to you so you can really see this blowing out a little bit. You've got a little bit of ruffle lace on the sides. Ah, and that design in the middle. The back is plain and short. It's done in short sleeve. Wow. A few more still. Look at this. Isn't this great? <laughs> now, this would be something quick. The Aaron Crochet Top, done in Summer Solstice number eight. All of these patterns, I believe, you can find either on um, knittingfever.com website or most of them are on Ravelry as well. And you can come to On the Lamb Yarn Shop and get them directly from her. I'll have the links down below, by the way. If you're here in the U.S., Heather does um, ship out from On the Lamb. And a lot of these are coming with free patterns if you buy the yarn. So check out her website. This caught my eye as soon as I came in the door. This one is done in Noro. And, aha, there we go. Get the right tag here. This one is Noro. The uh, design is Momoko. It's done in the Sonata again. And this is done with numbers 2, 6, 17, 18, 23, 25, 28, and 32, and I'm glad there's not names attached to these with that many involved. Okay, <laughs> so this would be a great stash buster. And it has, look at this, both sides, front and back. You look great coming and going in this sweater with all these granny squares. It has the split him again and the back is a little bit longer than the front now we have a cardigan here this one is the three-quarter button-up cardigan which is moiri m-o-i-r-i -I. you guys tell me <laughs> And it's done in Sonata number four. It's got the three quarter length sleeves. It's almost got a little bit of striping. Yeah, I can see that even in person going on. It just kind of adds to it. And this is the Sophia vest done in Zooey number 46. Okay, this one I think I can wear. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, I feel almost like a flower child with this. Yeah. So just a fun layering piece. And it has, look at the, yeah, I would not have seen this without wearing it as far as you come to the points on the side and a little bit of a ladder. Eyelet design in the, then it comes up a little bit shorter in the back. 
So something that looks just so simple adds a lot of detail and with these coming out on the side, that's very flattering. Even for someone who doesn't have much of a middle like me, that kind of adds a false one. <laughs> Okay. It's finally cooling down a little bit here in Texas, so something lace like this could really come in handy. Look at that. All right, let's see what this is. This is the Hazel Wrap done in Summer Solstice number six. And I love the fact that you've got lace and cabling going on there. Look at that. It's a great length to keep you warm. All right, bear with me a second. I'm going to cover up my microphone. <laughs> Not necessarily. Ah. I'm taking the hit for you guys. I, you know, I'm playing with these for you. Y'all just get to live vicariously through me. <laughs> okay, I've been wanting to see what this was when I came in and I waited for you guys. But look at that. This is, the design is Etna, E-T-T-N-A. It's done with Juniper Moon Farms Zoe number 67, 74, and Zoe Stripes number 214. So it looks like two pieces sewn together knit flat and then picking up all these different ones okay this would be interesting to do maybe with um some minis too hmm that gives some ideas all right we're getting down for the last few look at this not as much stuff on the back here So this is Ethel Crochet Scarf, done in Juniper Moon Farm Zoe Stripes, number 214. And so the stripes are just very faint. It's more of a, just kind of blending down through there. But, oh, it does add just another level to it. And these fun tassels. All right, so here we have Juniper Moon Farm Sol uh, Summer Solstice Paints, which was on the was on the floor. Okay, yeah, the Summer Solstice Paints. Just a reminder: this was forty-eight percent linen, twenty-four percent cotton, twenty-four percent viscose, and four percent polyester. It feels kind a little rough, but I mean that's that linen. It always feels so much better once it's been uh, washed. And look and how this comes out. Oh. Some great repeats that just sit there and you can have a lot of fun with. I'm gonna look, look at that. Let me pull it all together. I'm trying not to cover y'all up. Y'all are right here. <laughs> ah. And last one. This is the Ethel Knit Scarf. Juniper Moon Farms Zoe Stripes. 
in number 209. And it has bobbles on the edge. Look at that. <laughs> Both edges have the bobbles. Then a little bit of eyelet lace in the middle. So some garter ridges. So just enough interest to keep you going. And then a fun tassel on either end. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me on this knitting fever journey with On The Lamb Yarn Shop. And I hope you had as much fun as I did. I'll put information down below on where you can find all of this. Come on over to find um, On The Lamb Yarn Shop knitting fever all these great yarns uh, and just have a blast maybe some of these patterns will inspire you maybe you'll be looking for some of these yarns please do like and subscribe to get more content you never know what i'm going to be up to next i have a new video coming out soon and i have several um, videos going on from two different fiber festivals the second one, second Fiber Festival in Virginia is just being uploaded this next week. So you never know what I'm going to be up to. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.